What's up? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, KG. We got episode 20 of Free Knowledge Podcast. I want to thank you guys for tuning in for another episode. Um, I know I normally post on Saturdays and Sundays, but this one is uh, uh, just, you know, spur of the moment. You know, the Spirit spoke to me just to say some different things to you guys, and I want to share with you all. Um, and also, too, just tying into it being Tuesday, I thought of it just being like, you know, Thoughtful Tuesday. So um, this came to me, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about as close and um, close to me and, and just things that I think about. So, um, I'm not even going to waste any time. Let's jump right into it. So honestly, I just had this thought, like, I know we talked last week talking about different topics of everything happening for a reason. And, um, you know, I gave the example of, you know, you get to a stop sign, you see somebody that's homeless or, you know, with a sign and, and sometimes people are reluctant to give them anything, Um, and I can, I just want to be transparent with you guys. Um, you know, for me, I was definitely in that place at one point in time in my life. And like, I would say probably in the last three years, um, I've transitioned to a place where now, like the example I gave in the last episode is that instead of me giving the person money, um, I, I give them food. And so I, I transitioned it kind of elevated from place to place. Like literally I, I would just keep like certain foods in my car. So when I did see somebody, I would give them like, you know, um, you know, different canned foods that they can open the top. They don't need a can opener um, with different foods and snacks to go with it. But then I started transitioning. to like saying to myself, like, how, what would I want if I'm, you know, there and I need food, I'm, I'm hungry. So I say, you know what? What I'm going to do is that every time I go through and I would purchase, you know, groceries or go into, you know, Walmart, you know, any store like that. What I would do is I would always buy like a three pack, four pack of like ten dollar um, gift cards to like McDonald's, Burger King, uh, Dairy Queen, Chick-fil-A, whatever it may be that's close in those areas where I normally drive by. So that person is able to get food. Um, and I wanted to share that with you guys because maybe you might be feeling that same exact way where I was feeling three years ago. Like, you know, it's like, oh, you know what? You know, that person, you know, they can get a job. They can, you know, you know, they chose that way or whatever it may be. And um, and I and it took me a while. Like I said, you know, now I'm in a place like three years ago. I moved on past that point and I'm in a place where it's like. I started really understanding that a lot of the times the situations and things that we go through in life, we, we don't have control over. Sometimes there's things that move us to a place where things happen and we have no control over it. And what that leads to me is being grateful. You know, like I, I would look at situations like that and say, I, I'm thankful. I thank God that I'm not in that place. And because he has blessed me that I, he has blessed me to bless others. And that's how the blessings continue to come in our lives when we take the blessings God has given us to bless other people. And a lot of times people get your blessing and you might look down on other people not realizing that that could be you. That could be us on that corner with that sign. You don't know what that situation is. That person could have kids that also are homeless. Just a lot of different factors that go into it. And and as I dug deeper, I realized and God spoke to me about it a while ago. Um, that was how I literally changed my whole tune. Like I said, it might've been three to five years ago. I, so from that point, every time I would go get my groceries, I would just get some gift cards and I would keep them in my glove department. So whenever I get to a red light, I see somebody on the opposite side. I'm, I'm you know what? Ooh, let me pull over real quick. Let me give them this gift card. God bless you. And I go on by my business. Cause I know at that point I've done everything that I can do. Like the $30, $40, you think that you're missing like in all actuality you're helping and you're giving back for a good cause and um and that kind of segues into also another thing that I've been doing recently is um I was reading the book of uh Ecclesiastes and when I was reading that there were so much things in there and if you haven't read that you know bible chapter I highly encourage you to read it and read it all the way through to the end and if you have read it all the way through to the end tell me you know leave in the comments below you know, your take on it, you know, your thoughts on it and the different things that how it moved you after reading it. Um, but for me personally, um, he basically the teacher was basically just talking about all these meaningless things that are under the sun. And there's so many different things that, you know, take up our day 
Um, and we, we think like, oh, we got to have this position. We got to have this car. We got to have, um, a family with, you know, this many kids and want to be married by this age and all these different things that we, you know, put at a place of like, oh, this is important. This is what I want to accomplish in my lifetime, or this is the legacy that I want to create. When in all actuality, when, when it's our time, when we all have a time, we all have a date. Um, and it's like, that doesn't even matter when that day comes. And what basically what I gather from is that you have to do things on earth with the time that we have, that's going to impact, um, when that day comes. And I say that to say, and that's why I kind of tied it to this with, you know, the thoughtful Tuesday is that when you're doing stuff like this, you're, you're, you're helping, you're helping. This is something that, you know, puts a smile on God's face. And I always kind of, always take that that pause to think whenever I'm in situation when I have an opportunity to make one decision over another and I kind of think and it kind of go, goes back to like I don't know if you guys remember like those what would Jesus do bracelets like just having that 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 second just to think like okay like what am I supposed to do in this moment like what what would I want somebody to do what if that was my brother or my sister out there and I knew that they had a bad addiction and I would, I know that I would go out there and do that. You know, I, I would, I would do anything for my siblings. I would do anything for my family. So I look at it from that same lens. That's somebody's brother. That's someone's father. That's someone's mother. Um, and if there, if there's a way for me to help them, that's what I'll do. Um, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Like I said, it was on my spirit and it was like, literally talked to me all day. And I was like, ah, I was like, you know, I'll see. But as you guys know, um, you know, God has a, a hold on me and when he has something that he wants me to share, it's my duty to make sure that I follow through with it because you might be listening to this podcast right now and you might say, wow, that's crazy. I just had an experience with that and, and wow, that's what I need to hear. That gave me confirmation. And I, and I honestly do this to sh- sharing this information with you guys to one, be transparent. So you guys understand that I'm not just talking to you guys. This is something that I went through directly And, you know, like I said, three to five years ago, then that just changed in my life where God, you know, changed my mindset on this entire thing and where I started changing subtly. And then more and more. Now I have my own thing that where I feel like I'm making an impact on people's lives by just, you know, giving them something. And my 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 challenge to all of you that are listening, if you ever in that position and you're at that like, like, man, you know, or or sometimes like I'll, I won't have cash. And that was another thing, too, where I didn't have cash. I always have my card. So having those gift cards was something like real quick. Boom. OK, let me reach the glove compartment. Oh, here you go. God bless. And I say all of this to challenge you guys. If you're listening to this right now, it's not by coincidence. As we talked about in the last podcast, everything happens for a reason. You're hearing this for a reason. Are you going to answer the call? of being challenged to say, Hey, you know what? The next time you go into a grocery store, next time you go pick up your groceries, or even you go get food from a McDonald's, go ahead and grab, you know, a couple more gift cards. Maybe you put $5 on there, $3 on there, whatever it may be, but put them out on a couple of them. And I'm telling you right now, once you keep those with you and you just pull up to a stop sign, you give it away to somebody like for one, the feeling that you get for giving, And you're not giving to get something back, but you're doing it because out of your heart, that's the pure person that you are. It changes you. It makes you want to do more. And it's like, I even see some of my friends I played basketball with in college. They have different um, organization and foundation that they give back, you know, to um, homeless people. And it's just like, it's like that stuff right there is, it moves me like, and that's ultimately one of the goals that I have down for the future. Lord willing is to, um, you know, get my own foundation and give back to the inner city and use and, you know, provide for different people who can't provide for themselves because, you know, someone has to do it. And there's a lot of people out that are, are doing it. And if you are volunteering, you are giving back your time, your money, um, your emotions, anything towards people, um, I tip my hat to you and keep doing that. I applaud you. So keep going. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to leave you guys with that real quick, you know, just a quick thoughtful Tuesday conversation. Um, leave your comments below. Let me know if you're doing something in your community right now, or if you have different tactics that you do, maybe you say, Hey, I don't do gift cards, but this is the one thing that I keep in my trunk. Um, I've heard people say, Hey, I, you know, I keep toothbrush and soap 
you know, in bags with, with a towel and a washcloth. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's okay. That's a good thing. Like, let me start adding that to my game. So if there's things that you guys are doing, leave your comments below. I want to hear that. Um, so, and then if you do go through and you take the challenge that I'm throwing out there to you right now, which I hope you guys all do, cause I would love to hear how it made you feel. Um, and also what you guys are doing. So I hope that you guys accept the challenge, to, um, to go out there and just be thoughtful. Think of somebody else before yourself and, um, let me know how it works out for you guys. So I hope that this is something real quick for you guys on Tuesday. I'm still going to be back at you guys this weekend with another episode, but I wanted to just touch base with you guys real quick, um, to let you know how God was speaking to me and just let's share this with you. And I hope that it impacts you guys as well to, um, you know, implementing your life. And if you're already doing it, hats off.